Here we have another Buckingham Pie example. Um, this one uh, we're going to go through just a little bit faster than, than the first one. Um, in this case, we're looking for um, a uh, dimensionless function that describes uh, the lift force um, that's caused when we take a, uh, a cylinder um, of diameter d and length l immersed in a stream uh, flowing at velocity u um, that's rotating at some angular velocity given by this parameter m over here. Um, and we're told that the fluid density rho is important, but viscosity is secondary and can be neglected. This is something that we're going to talk about uh, in more detail when we get to our chapter on external flow. But in this problem, we're going to be formulating this using uh, uh, dimensional analysis, in this case, Buckingham Pi. Uh, and we can learn something else about the flow, even without having to get into all the details of the flow physics. Um, so our goal is to take, um, uh, to find this force F as a function of um, the different parameters, right? So D, L, U, uh, omega, and rho. Um, and we want to put this into dimension this form, right? Um, and the approach that we're going to take um, is going to be bucking up by. Um, so to start with, we want to ask how many pi groups. And in this case, we have um, one for force, then two, three, four, five, six, six variables. Um, as far as dimensions, we have, um, let's see, a mass in uh, for density, um, a length scale here, let's say for L, and then we get time through velocity. Right? So we have MLT, so six variables, um, uh, six variables, um, and MLT, our dimensions, um, six minus three is three pi groups. Um, and so um, to get started, we're gonna start with force F, right? So for force, um, we're gonna say pi one is gonna be force. Um, and now we have to choose our, um, our repeating our primary variables. In this case, um, we'll use uh, the same uh, repeating variables that we use for drag on a cylinder, um, where we had uh, rho, so our rho to the a, um, u, right, so u to the b, and d, the cylinder diameter, raised to some power c. And just to check, um, rho takes care of mass, u takes care of time, d takes care of length, so we have all three of our um, fundamental dimensions represented among the three primary variables. So we're off to a good start. Um, so to formulate this, we want to consider the dimensions um, of each term here. So this is going to be um, force is mlt to the minus 2. All right, remember, um, we have uh, f is equal to ma, so that'd be force equal to uh, mass times acceleration. Um, and that's going to be uh, non-dimensionalized by um, m l to the minus three raised to the power a um, u. This is going to be a l t to the minus one raised to the power b um, times a, a length raised to the power c. Uh, and so now we can um, formulate our equations um, to cancel out each one of these variables the numerator and denominator for each one of these dimensions between, between the numerator and denominator. So for mass, we're going to have that 1, which is the power in the numerator, um, is equal to A, um, and that's it. Um, for length, um, we're going to have that 1, the power in the, in the uh, numerator, is going to be equal to minus 3A um, plus B plus C, and then for time, uh, we're going to end up with um, minus 2 is equal to minus B. Um, and so this gives us that uh, B is equal to 2. We have A is equal to 1 already. Um, and now plugging that in, 
um, we have 1 is equal to minus 3 plus 2 um, plus C. Um, uh, so um, we have 1 uh, plus 3 minus 2, um, and then we get C is equal to 2. Um, so now our first pi group is going to be force um, over rho times u um, u squared uh, d uh, squared. Okay. So let's move on. Our pi group um, two. Um, is going to uh, involve, let's see, the next variable that we haven't taken care of. So um, our repeating variables or our primary variables here are going to be D, um, U, and Rho, right? So these three are our primary variables or repeating variables. Um, we've taken care of force, so what's left is, um, so the next one is going to be length. So we can do this in general as L over rho to the A, U to the B, D to the C. Um, or we can uh, quickly see by inspection that um, the uh, dimension of length, you know, the length of the cylinder is length, um, which is uh, we can cancel out if we make C is equal to 1 and A and B equal to 0. Um, so by inspection, we see that pi 2 is going to be L over D. Um, and then what we're left with is pi 3, um, and this one here is going to take care of omega. So this will be omega over um, rho to the a, u to the b, d to the c. Um, and this one, so omega, um, this is the rotational velocity of the uh, cylinder, or the angular velocity of the cylinder. Um, so you, you know, might express this, for example, and say something like uh, radians per second. Um, and actually, you might have been asking up above, well, why do we just have MLT when we have this um, omega floating around? Um, you know, we measure, we have to measure that angle somehow. Um, but our measurements of angle are dimensionless. Radians, for example, um, are dimensionless. Uh, and so um, this uh, omega just has dimensions of t to the minus 1. So this is going to be t to the minus 1 over, um, again, uh, m l to the minus three a um, l t to the minus one to the b and l to the c um, and we're going to end up with you know again very similar equations to um, to what we had um, up here right so for m it's just going to be zero is equal to a for l um, we're going to have 0 is equal to minus 3a plus b plus c. And for t, um, now we're going to have minus 1 is equal to minus b. So um, from this, we get that um, b is equal to 1. And from this uh, middle equation, we know a is equal to 0. We have 0 is equal to um, 0 plus 1 plus c. Um, so c is equal to minus 1. Um, and now our pi 3 is equal to omega over um, u uh, times d to the minus 1. And so that's our pi 3. Um, so we're actually asked now to construct, in this problem, we're asked to construct a um, dimensionless form of, of this function that we have here. And so we can write this out as our pi group 1 is a function of the other two pi groups, um, meaning our final answer here is that f um, over rho u squared d squared is some unknown function um, of <clears throat> our two pi groups, so L over d comma omega over um, u, and I'll multiply that omega d over u. Just put that in a little bit nicer form. 
And so that is our total final answer to this uh, second Buckingham Pie example.